Hey guys, Glummery, Glummery Online. How are you? <laughs> so just epic fail. Just did a recording and I was recording myself and not my screen. So I'm going to jump into it right away. This is how to start a blog step-by-step -step tutorial for beginners. And I'm going to do it really quick because that has taken way too long on the last one. So if you like um, videos on how to make money online, how to do stuff, how to make basically real estate online that's going to make you money, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification button. Now, one thing, a lot of people go, well, if I have a funnel, what do I need a blog for? You always need a blog, guys. You need a blog, you need a blog, you need a blog. And I recommend having your own, that you're, it's not on a free server or anything. It's yours, you own it. It's your, it's, it's, this is your thing, guys. This is where it all starts. Um, and we'll get into it. We're going to pick a, 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 a domain name. If you already have one, great. If you don't, I always recommend get your name, get your name, uh, like your name online, work with your name, whatever it is. Have that as sort of your base thing. Now, if you're going to be blogging with with about travel or food, of course, you can you can go, you know, you could do Glen Murray online. You could do food like a subdomain food dot or whatever it is. Or maybe you have a, a catchy business name, but I recommend getting it done. OK, so let's jump into it. So I recommend uh, I'm going to show my screen here. So what I recommend is basically. Um, uh, let's get rid of that there. Here we go. Um, I recommend a, a company called A2 Hosting. A lot of people recommend Bluehost. I I have an affiliate link for both of them, so I will put them both in the in the in the uh, description. Uh, I recommend A2 Hosting. I just like it. It's fast, and I like that there's it's a anytime money back guarantee. They are very competitive. The guys they're 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 the same speed. Uh, basically, they're basically the same price. There's some differences on what you're going to get. But they basically do the same thing. I just like A2 hosting. But again, if you want to do Bluehost, the back end will look a tiny bit different. But you know what? And they're both affiliate programs. So you can actually refer them on your blog and say, hey, this blog is, 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 is hosted at A2 hosting. I recommend you getting it. Or this blog is, is hosted at Bluehost. I recommend you getting it. And you just put your affiliate link there. You know, <clears throat> this is how you make money online. All right. So you're going to go in. You're going to grab this one to get the Swift. Um, it, it will tell it'll it'll default to you what your company your country is and and your basically your your money. So you're gonna go in. You're gonna get Swift. It's gonna ask you to choose a domain. Like I said, um, pick a domain like Glenmurray.com or whatever your name is. Um, I I have a really common name, so I can't get Glenmurray.com. I think it's you know it's just a super common name. So I use Glenmurray online. Uh, work with Glenmurray. And once you once you get that, guys, we're gonna we're gonna jump right into um. I'm just going to log in and, and we'll get into the back office and we'll get the WordPress installed. <clears throat> uh oh. How's that? So, um, we're going to, we're going to log in here and we are going to install our WordPress site. So we're going to do this right from scratch guys. I'm going to show you, we're going to install WordPress site. We're going to install your theme. We're going to throw a logo up there for you. We're going to show you how to do your first blog post. Um, I don't know why that's showing. I should get rid of my old uh, preschool login for it. <laughs> Come on, log in. What are you doing? Here we go. There we go. Okay, so and guys, I'm telling you that 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 that's I have a ton of websites, guys. I use Swift. I use that's the one I use. Um, been using it for a while. If you have, if you're hosted somewhere else, you want to move it over here. They moved my entire server over, so it was so awesome. I had to go in and do a little, a little bit of tweaking. You know, there was some old scripts on there and stuff like that. But basically, that's it. So we're going to go in and we're going to go jump right into right here this green button. We're going to go right into the C panel. There's nothing to do on that other screen. <coughs> You've already picked your domain. Your domain might take a little while to um, to propagate. So it can take a couple of hours. It can take overnight. You know, just once you have the name done up and your site's ready to go. So we're going to go to WordPress uh, install, right? And we're just going to pick install. And I'm going to pick on one of the demos. See, guys, I'm telling you, I got a ton of websites here. I'm going to pick one of the ones I just um, set up for this. Where is it? I think demo one. There it is, demo two. I'm just throwing it onto a, um, a, 
a subdomain just so I can show you guys. In the directory, I want it blank because I want it to just be the, the pages will go right at the end of this dot ca. Um, my blog on blogs, right? Site description, uh, blog about blogs. Guys, whatever you're about, right? Whatever your, your thing's about. Um, I'm just gonna use default admin. It doesn't matter because the way, what's really cool about A2 is they have a, a hidden login page, which you'll get in your email. When you when you do your domain, it'll say here's here's your here's your login, um, which is really really cool, and then basically we are going to install this now. Hopefully, um, oh shoot, the email. <laughs> oh, I can't cancel it now. You want to change the email to your your best email. All right, make sure that that I I screwed up. There should there's an email there, and you want to make sure that. Um, you basically set up your email because it sends you the login uh, information. So now I'm going to have to. Um, oh, this is not going to work because I'm not going to get an email with the login information and I didn't save my password. So I'm going to have to abort this, guys. Let me let me just uh, hold on. Okay, I fixed it. <laughs> Let's go back on there. All right, guys, so once you get set up, so don't forget that really important step. <laughs> Copy your password and um, and make sure you have your, you put the email that's going to be going to. Now, just so you guys know, actually when, I, when it finished installing, I just clicked to go access it and it actually took me in. It just logged me in with that link. So that link had all my information in it. Um, if you didn't have that, then you wouldn't be able to do it. So anyways, so we're in here, we're going to get this set up right away. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to go into We're going to do a, just a couple little tweaks to begin with the, your, your, your WordPress site is going to be installed with something called Jetpack. So I, I do recommend um, setting that up. And basically what it does, it's just a, it's just a, it's just a, a little suite of plugins. It's free. You get a free, if you have a WordPress account, it's, it's a free thing. It's a little bit ficky, fickly to, to set up, but you want, you want to have it because there is a, uh, a tool in it that's really useful for, um, doing basically your analytics kind of thing. Um, so basically we're going to just go in and set that up and hopefully it, it connects and improves me right away. Sometimes it, it goes no goofy goofy like this. So uh, if it does this, let it try a couple times. If not, just leave it. Let it sort of let it kind of do its thing. Um, it will connect at some point. Just you can go in through Google and then Google will set up a WordPress um, account for you and this kind of thing. So. Try a couple times. If it doesn't, just just leave it and come back to it. It will it will happen. Sometimes as your site's getting set up, it just needs a little bit of time out there. Let's see if it does it now. Approve. Uh, no, it's not gonna it's not gonna do it right now. So we'll we'll we'll, we'll you know what we'll 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 go back and we'll. Uh, We'll try it in a little bit. We'll just let it, let our blog kind of get settled because we just installed the the, uh, the thing. Um, we do want to go down to settings. We want to go to permalinks, and we want to make sure that our permalinks are set for not day and name, but we want to make sure that we we have it as the post name. This is really important for SEO. So we want to make sure that our 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 um, what we name our posts is what's going out there that, that Google's looking for. So we want to make sure we, we do save that. Um, so you guys are probably thinking, well, what is, what is my, uh, what does my blog look like? It doesn't look like anything right now, guys. It looks like that typical kind of hello, hello world thing. So we'll, we can take a look just so you know, um, visit site here. And basically that's it guys. It just looks like that. So we need to do a couple of things. So we want to, um, you can see my blog on blogs, a blog about blogs. Okay. So I'm just playing around, whatever you guys want to do, you can, you can make that. So we're going to go get a, a theme and I have a link for the theme and it's called, uh, I'll put it in the description down below. And basically it is, 
uh, it's, it's called this one right here. So schema, we're going to download that. There's a free version of it. You can put it on if you want to get the paid version. It just has some extra bells and whistles, which is great. I use the free version, guys. Uh, I haven't found a need to go to the, to, uh, the, the, the thing. So download the free version. Go back to my blog. And what we're going to do is we want to go to themes. <clears throat> And we want to upload that theme that we just downloaded, right? So we're going to go add new. Why I use schema, guys, is actually schema is a really, really simple. Um, and we're going to hit upload. <clears throat> it's really simple. So it keeps your, your website running really, really, really fast. And that's what you want to do. You want to have a fast running website. Um, so that you so basically people don't get you know when they go to look at one of your articles they're not waiting and waiting and waiting so you want to have a really kind of streamlined thing and i like i like schema too because it's not it doesn't have a whole bunch of uh sliders and all these kind of things that can slow down your your website it basically is very lean and then you can add little bits that you want but really long gone are the days where you've got all these fancy design elements. I used to do design when kind of 20 years ago or more than 20 years ago, internet design. And it was all about how pretty can we make it? How flashy can we make it? How cool can we make it? Now it's like, how fast can we deliver the information that people are looking for? Um, basically, right? So like, that's really what we want. We want a website that's fast that's mobile responsive, that people basically can get the information that they want. Boom, that's what that's what we wanna do. So we're gonna install this, right? Uh, unpacking, there we go. Now we want to go to a live preview. And we're just gonna take a look at this. My blog on blogs, uh, site identity. Now we want to throw a logo on here. Now guys, don't spend a lot of time on logos. You can go over to Canva and you can create a really cool, simple logo. I just was playing with one over here right now. So go to, go to, go to, go to, uh, just log into Canva. <clears throat> I'll put a link below for it. There's an affiliate program. I, I, if you're going to be blogging, I recommend getting the, the paid version of it. It has a lot of, you can save a lot of stuff but you don't need it. There's, it. there's a ton of stuff you can do. So I just went in and I grabbed this um, logo design guys. And I basically just kind of played with it. And, you know, I did, I did a couple little versions. I took what was there, this really basic design. And I just kind of tweaked it to make it my own. Um, and made a couple kind of like, just simple, simple edits on it. And then I'm going to keep it as my own. So I'll let this load. There we go. So I'm going to select all the text there. Uh, blog on blogs. So I'll put my name in here. Glenn Murray. And so this is a little, little step for you. So I want to make something called a favicon, which is this little icon that sits at the top. And I was playing with it. You can see that's remnants of it there. So I'm just going to, I'm going to take everything that's on there and I'm just going to kind of blow it up nice and big so it's almost right like just like that boom so I'm going to I'm going to download this and I'm going to I'm going to actually use this square thing as my my little icon so I can just basically throw it in throw it in there and it'll do it now I also want to make a logo for my my site so I, I'm going to I can actually go and grab this again, go back to this blogs on blog. So this, it, it resets it to the, when if you click on the, on the template again, it resets sort of all the sizing, but it keeps what you've written there, which is really cool. So I'm going to stretch this out because I want the text to go on one line like this. And this is cool. Yeah, this is cool. I'm going to put my name over here, Glenn Murray in the white and so i'm going to show you a really cool trick guys this is this is gonna be cool uh, yeah that's in the center isn't it okay that's that's good 
blogs on blogs. That looks pretty good to me. So I'm going to say that, and I'm actually going to use this, um, this image in a couple of ways. It's really cool. All right. So, um, boom, I have my two elements. So I'm going to go back to my blog here and I'm basically going to, um, I'm going to remember that site icon. I'm going to upload the file. Oops, I gotta select the file. And then you make a cool site icon. So blog on blogs. See, I was playing around with it before. So I'm gonna do that. And I'm just gonna call it Glenn Murray blog on blogs. Copy that. Now always, always, always name your images because your images can be found uh, online and they will lead back to your website right so it's really cool like you put an image out there and someone someone's like hey i want i, I want to blog on blogs and they find my image and then they can go oh click on it. oh that's it's from a blog blog on blogs i need to go check out the blog so it's just another little 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 tool right so this is what i was talking about guys selecting the tool so i'm going to select uh i'm going to upload that other one i made right the one where the the text was in line and guys, if you want to go get logos made, you can go get, go to Fiverr, get logos made, all that all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to grab the second one that I downloaded. Again, I'm going to put in some text on it just so it has some information. I'm going to select that one. Now look at this. I'm going to use this as my logo. It's so cool. So crop image, boom. blog on blogs glimmery how cool is that all right now you're going glenn it's on a black background i know it is so i'm going to activate this and publish it i'm going to go out of here i'm going to go back here to appearance and i'm going to go do something to the header that's really simple and cool and you're going to love it header and header image. I'm going to add a new image. And I'm going to take this one, but watch this, guys. This is so cool. I'm going to select and crop. See how it's already looking at this little tiny bit at the top? It's cropping. I'm going to crop the image and just use that white as my image. And there you go. Blog on blog super simple guys this is so easy so it starts coming together really really fast with a little bit of splash of color and some stuff um so we're going to publish this we are going to go back we're going to fix we want to make sure that all our posts are evergreen so we really don't want dates on our on our um on our our posts so we want to we want to get rid of the dates from our posts so when you go into settings into general gonna it's gonna give you like the date format time zone here's a little trick I learned go down to this little box here and remove all the information from both the time and the date format and save the changes now what's really cool is because you haven't given it a format when you're on your blog now that we have our cool thing the date's gone see we just went from hello world in really boring to a big splash of color boom and guys you can do whatever you want you can make it you can do a full header all that kind of stuff this is just i'm showing you this is simple these images are really tiny size so they're going to load so fast we're keeping the website super super fast so i'm going to go back and i'm going to um right now we're on our blog roll so i'm going to go into this um post right let's go about the author there we want to make sure that we we put put some more information there so i'm going to i i need to go in and and, and do my email now if you've done anything on online you'll know that there's something called gravatar and they take an image from your email and then it'll pull it in there i highly recommend if you haven't done gravatar go get go set up your image on gravatar we're going to edit this post i've got a um basically a a dummy article that um i'm going to put in here so I'll copy this and Come on. 
Oh, there it is, edit post. So boom, I'm gonna put that in there. I'm gonna go back to my text. I'm gonna grab the heading. I'm gonna go back here, change the title. Now remember when you change the title something guys, you really wanna make sure right now where this is pointing, like this basically says, you know, demo2.fna.ca, but it would say, you know, Glenn Murray's blog on blog. But see how this, it's called the URL slug right over here. I want that to be relevant to what I am writing there. So I always wanna make, I wanna play around with that URL slug to make sure that it's relevant to the title of the, of the article. It's also, when I, when I show you the SEO tool, it's gonna be really relevant to play around with that URL slug because you might play around with it a little bit differently with what you're doing. So now we've got the makings of a very cool blog. So I'm gonna just update this. So now I've got rid of that hello world. I've changed the permalink to the beginner's guide to blogging, which I might change again. Um, now I'm gonna go install my SEO tool. I'm actually gonna jump back to Jetpack and see if it'll install for me uh, here now. Hopefully it likes me now, now that I've done some stuff. I might have to go into my username and, and, and adjust my email because I didn't do that. Um, that might be the problem I'm having there. Oh, it looks like it's working now. See, it just takes a little, little bit of love, a little bit of TLC. Um, if you don't like Jetpack, don't, don't worry about using it, right? Um, I just use the free, so scroll down. It's, it's they're going to try to sell you their package and stuff like that. Um, basically that's all the, all the stuff that you need set up, right? Do, to do, to do stats. Um, So we've got that done. We're gonna go back to our site here. So Jetpack is now installed. So I, I'm gonna go back to users, guys. I'm just gonna make sure that my uh, proper email is in there because I want it to grab my, yeah, see, see the email that's doing admin at demo2. I, I don't want it to be that email. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna do, my uh, Gmail because what that will do is it's actually going to um, grab my image. I'm also going to go nickname Glenn and I'm going to display everything as Glenn Murray and not admin. So if I update profile now, if you could, if you don't, guys don't want to use Gravatar, you can just throw a profile picture right up here, right? You can you can totally do that. But this this will using this will actually pull in, it should pull in an email. Yeah, see, you can change your profile picture on Gravatar. So it, it should grab it. It'll just take a second to, to um, uh, if you change this, we will send you an email, the new address, the new address will not become it. So I gotta go, I gotta go to my email. Mm, let me just pause this guys. And I'm just gonna go yeah, that's taking too long. So <laughs> it's gonna go finish it. Anyways, it will it will happen. I'm not worried about it. Um, and so we now we want to make sure that we can install the um, the um, SEO tool. So we're gonna go to plugins here, and you guys can see what I'm doing here. Install plugins. Now, what's cool about a Schema is they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna actually suggest this. Uh, SEO tool, which I love. I used to use some a tool called Yoast, and I I switched over to um, oops, try it for free. Come on, and I switched over, and I basically I'm gonna install it now. Um, I love it. It's so it's so easy to use. If you're using something called Yoast and and you're used to it, and maybe you've done blogging before, and you're you're just watching this as a refresher, I love this this tool. Um, it, it basically, it just makes doing your SEO so easy. Now, don't get bogged down on SEO at the beginning, guys. And I don't, why I'm doing this 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 video and basically the, this is the real basic basics 
is that um, I want you to get started blogging. And this is just a tool just to kind of like know that you're that you're you're basically um, able to 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 see what you're doing when you're writing. And as you keep building your blog and you start writing more, basically uh, keyword concentrated uh, articles and stuff like that, you're going to use this tool more and more. So I wish I'd known about a tool like this when I first started because I had a blank because I had no idea what to do. And this tool just prompts you to kind of fix things as you go, keeping it real writing, of course. I don't know why this isn't installing. Come on, install. Let's go back and see if it just did it. Uh, I've got tons running on my computer right now, so. Click here to activate it. There we go. Okay, so this is gonna be so cool. So this is gonna walk us through a little, a little bit of a, a little bit of housekeeping. And and this tool also tells Google that our website exists. There's something called Google Console out there that you want to make sure that it knows all the pages. And it's kind of like the headquarters of the spider that crawls your 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 the web basically. So you want to make sure that it knows that your website exists. So you want to activate Rank Math. Um, again, it's just like Jetpack free account there. Don't worry about it. Um, and then, you, okay. And then I think it's already activated now. And also the, the, the theme that I, I, I told you guys to download it runs with rank math really, really well. So it has a little wizard right? Um, it basically lets you, there's your logo. You could change if you want. If you want a social share kind of logo, you know, when, when sometimes you share stuff, you can just use this file. You can change that to anything you want. Um, it's just, just, just a, a couple little things that make your website just stand out a little bit than the average, you know, using the same old WordPress thing. Um, the search console, this was talking about for Google you want to activate that. So you just have to give Google permission. Uh, we'll do that right now. And they give you a code and then you just basically allow. They give me this code. See this little button here that's got two squares. You wanna click that, that's gonna copy it. And then you just paste it right in here. And it automatically authorizes it. Now, if your site doesn't show up here, you have to, you may have to play around with, um, to get your website verified. And that's what I was talking about. Um, uh, Jetpack, which Jetpack does really, really cool. So See how it goes to um, so you want to go to the search verification page. And you want to verify that. Now it's going to go, I can't find this in your meta tag, your, your, your site homepage, right? So see, it says, it says verification failed. So I want to copy this and I need to go find a place to put this. And this is what's great about um, Jetpack. You put it right in there. Actually, it's in it's in S it's in uh, search cons Google search console right there All right and we're going to save that I love it and then when we go back because now this is stuck it into our header for us and this is doing so much work for us that we don't have to even fool around with it so now it's in there now, when we go back to this verification page, remember it said denied before. See that it's now verified. I love it. 
makes life so easy. So uh, basically, that's it, guys. Okay, so now we've got we can go back to rank math, right? We can go back to the dashboard and we can go back going through our our setup wizard, right? And the setup wizard will just it's just a it'll just continue to kind of walk you through the thing. So it, it remembers everything you did. You don't have to worry about going back and going, oh, I didn't get that. But what's going to be cool is now that our site is verified, when we go to um, for the search console, we can actually get it, the search console to say to recognize this subdomain. Right. So we go here, we save and continue. Now, if it still doesn't show up there, what, you, what we want to do is we want to delete the, um, the console code and we want to reapply it. And then it, it will usually gen generally bring it back because we can't refresh the sites right now. See how it's not giving us a refresh thing? So watch this. I'm going to deauthorize account. I've done this before. I'm a professional. I'm going to get the authorization code. I'm going to reauthorize my account. Allow it. I'm going to get this code again. Close this window. And paste it in here. It will authorize it. And now I should be able to refresh my sites. So I give it the right profile. Because you really want to make sure it's on the right profile. With you guys, you're going to have one website there. So to, to begin with. So is it there? Come on. Usually it comes up as the very first one, so I don't know why it's not doing it. Anyways, guys, you know what? When you're doing blogs, this is kind of, you're going to run into a couple of these things. Be patient. Sometimes things take some time to work itself through the internet. And that's just the way the internet works. Sometimes, you know, one server is talking to another server and it's not getting the quite the up to date uh, information. It's just going to happen, right? So if it doesn't work right now, it's not giving us demo two on here. Give this a refresh. Refreshing cures so much, guys. All right, we're going to save and continue. We're just going to go forward. It will, uh, we'll figure it out. We'll come back to it. You want to go back and make sure that that happens for you. It will probably happen because I'm doing a subdomain and I've actually done the subdomain earlier today. It's probably just giving me a little bit of grief. Anyways, everything else, I just leave it, guys. It's it's kind of saying this is the best optimization for SEO. Just kind of go through and leave it. Unless you know a certain thing that you don't want to do, just let it do its thing. Don't go into advance. Just let it set itself up, and then it will be in your um, open external links uh yeah, everything, everything is basically what you want. So you just want it to go through and run. Uh, and then I'm gonna, we're going to go back to that blog post and, and I'm going to quickly show you how to do a little bit of SEO on it. And that's it, guys. You're ready to go. You are an able auto update of the plugin. Yes. Um, don't If you want to show your score, go for it. Um, and then we're going to return the dashboard. So what we want to do is we want to go back to that, that, that um, post there. We've got a bunch of windows open here. I don't need to go in there. Uh, I don't need this. So now what's really going to be cool is uh, I've got a couple. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to go back to my post. All posts. And now I'm going to have an extra tool when I go in to edit this.
Now you'll see up here you've got this thing nine out of a hundred. There's no keyword defined, so we're just gonna go vlogging, right? That's gonna be our keyword. So now it's so it, it's already ranking us at fifty nine out of a hundred. And guys, all you need to do is get this up to one as close to a hundred as you can. Focus keyword not found in your SEO meta description. So how do we do that? So we go over here and a blog is basically an online journal. So we can go blogging. Uh, we want, we want blogging the very first thing. So let's go, what is blogging? Right? So we want to update. Now we just will just have bumped our score up because the focus word. And then guys, you just go through here and you know, focus keyword not found in subheading um, H2. So it's in the title. So, you know, um, so right here we can go put a heading in what are the advantages of blogging right and it's going to bump us up another three dots that's it guys you just kind of work through this add an image with focus on the keyword. Now we can go back to Canva, right? And we can, we can play around. We can find a really cool image and, and throw an image up there. I actually did one earlier like this. I just said getting started, how to, how to create a blog, right? Getting started. So what I can do is I can go in and I'm going to just throw right at the very top. I'm going to throw an image and I'm going to upload that image. And because the SEO ranking is telling me that um, I need to have blogging in in the image, right? There I go. I go over here. So this is this is so if I if I if I'm on this yellow one, I'm in rank SEO. If I go over here, I'm back in in the document. So the block image, right? Beginner's Guide to Blogging, right? Copy that. I like it. I'm going to put it. The first step is the artist. And I'm going to put it. I'm going to put blogging. The first step is the hardest. And I'm just going to update that. I'll probably make that my feature image, maybe for this one. But guys, basically, you start playing around. You you want to start, you know, you, you want to start. Uh, you could do a ton of stuff. You know, you want to start stylizing, blog. If you want to do colors, right? You can do color settings. So text color. Now, if you want to do inline, you can start adding some plugins. Like there's an inline color stuff, but that, but guys, just just start start blogging, you know. So let's let's update this and let's just view the post, and you can see where we're at. It's updating now. We go preview. We can view post or we can preview here. There, you guys, go. You're set up. We went from nothing to a blog. And how long did that take us? Let me see. Let me go, go back to here. 40 minutes. Guys, 40 minutes. Done. Okay, we, we, we've got our server. We got our theme installed. We got a um, some images. We got a logo. It's all there. Now, I'm, this is just the basics, right? So what you want to be doing is you want to go in and you want to start playing with stuff. 
if you want to learn, you know, different ways, I'm going to be putting up a second video on blogging and I'm going to just start tricking out, showing you how to, how to really trick out the side, the widgets and stuff like that. But I didn't want to overwhelm you because once we start trying to do like everything, you're just going to get bogged down. Just get this part going, get this part going and, and get started blogging. Like, like guys, this is really the reality of it. Um, you just want to, you know, how does this is how to start a blog? This is this is this is this is it. This is the, the this is the basic the basics of it. And once you get this going, you want to start adding content. And remember that SEO ranker. Why I wanted you why I wanted you to have that on there is because you, when you start writing, you can start writing with intention. You're not just going to be kind of like you know um, writing just whatever like like free form. You can. But then you can use that to go, okay, I need to start scaling it up. Another really great way to blog is this, is basically you start with an idea, you go over to Google. Um, oh, I forgot to show you keywords. I'm going to show you that on the next one because that's what we're, that's where we really want to get into that ranking SEO on finding what words do we really want to rank for, what keywords, because maybe we don't want to rank for blogging. Maybe we want to rank for um, what is a blog or kind of make it more pinpoint so it's easier. So maybe the competition for blogging is really high. So if we can get sort of a short, a, a longer tail, which is called there's more words in it, and it's less competition, then we really build our, our blog to rank for that search instead of someone just going blogging and hoping our website comes up against tens of thousands. We want to hope that someone types what is a blog and then we can really SEO on that, which is more generic than just blogging or more less generic than just blogging. So that's where you start getting into the whole SEO world and it's a can of worms. And I, I actually don't even recommend getting that deep into it. I think my philosophy is this, think of a topic you want to write on, write on that topic, get to like, you know, this will tell you if you've got enough words where it's going to kind of be, be even looked at to be able to rank. And then go in and, and, and look at your look at your, your article and find what is it really about and then go put that keyword in that and see how you rank and not worry so much about the competition. Just start creating more and more content. Because if you create good content and you've got it and you've got it ranked for certain words, right? You want to make sure that people are searching for those words. If, if they're, they're really bizarre words and people aren't searching for them, but you want to make sure. And that's, I will, I will address that on the next video, but just start writing and start getting it. So, th so that when you pick a keyword, you can actually do the adjustments where the blog still reads naturally, but you're also, you know, honing your skills on going, yeah, I want, I want to, you know, uh, trip to Fiji. I want to be able to SEO an article about trip to Fiji where it has the best possible chance of being picked up and found and competing and ranking on Google, right? So someone types in, um, you know, best way to take a trip to Fiji, then you would be able to, to, to at least have a chance of ranking on there. So guys, hopefully this is, this is helpful for you. Make sure you subscribe, ring the notification. I know it's a little bit different than my other one, but why I wanted to do this basic is because people don't know about it. And I also want to show you is that once you start creating content and your blog gets a little bit of traction, those pockets on the right where I, it said archive and meta and that kind of stuff, you're going to start using that as your that's basically going to become your ATM because you're going to be driving targeted, targeted, targeted traffic to that article. And right next to that article is going to be a congruent offer that you're going to be able to make money off of. That's the key, right? That is the key to blogging. And that's where you want to go. And if you just want to be altruistic and, and just blog, then just go blog. That's it. All right, guys. Hopefully this is helpful. Check out the links below. They are affiliate links. I will get paid if you do. Some of them aren't. Some of them, there's no affiliate affiliation. Um, some of them are. So I will get paid if you do choose it. But uh, these are my recommendations. And these are, this is what I use. All right, guys. Cheers. Bye. <laughs>